There are a number of people who want to know, are you guys going to have any more kids? Hey, sweetie, do you want to come downstairs and do our YouTube q and I'm going to check. I think we probably have a couple of questions by now. 610 questions. I better change into something more comfortable. We put out a call for questions, and did you guys respond? We're looking at 610 questions right now. We're gonna answer every single one. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Thankfully, there were a lot of repeat questions, but we are going to be able to answer questions, take care of a lot of people, with even just like there's uh, two or three top questions for sure. We got the kids in bed, the sun is setting on one of the longest days of the year, so we thought we'd take advantage, come out here on the porch. But one of the things that I am the most nervous about is pronouncing names. I am <laughs> terrible at names. As I'm scrolling <laughs> through, there are some names that I think I could pronounce, like Wade's World, I mean, that's easy, but then there are some that I know we're gonna butcher, so please, in advance, apologize apologize for our inability to read names. Should we dive in? Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, let's dive in. Out of the gates, without a doubt, the most asked question, what are our kids' names, ages, and birthdays? Now we could tell you, but that's boring. So we thought, let's let the kids tell you. Hi, I'm Ryler, I'm eight, and my birthday is August 15th. Hi, I'm Crew, and I'm six, and my birthday is July 22nd. <laughs> I'm, Whoa. my name is Brett and I'm four and my birthday is on November 6th. <laughs> <laughs> love those kids, love their energy. Some of them are better on camera than others. While we were watching that, I found a question that was kind of in line with that from Really Sarah. It's actually really from Sarah, but her username is Really Sarah. And she says, can you please talk about the kids' names? She loves how unique they are, and she's curious how the names came about. So I'm gonna let you answer that. We live in Utah. That's like home of like weird names. I don't know. I guess I combined Ryan and Tyler. I just started like Ryan, Riker, Ryan. Ryler, I love Ryler. So whenever Crew came around, we needed a second boy name, and I left that one in his hands. How sick is the name Crew, right? And he chose like. But one I of the chose most... with the K. Okay, it is different spelling because that's how Utahns do it. He chose one of the most popular names in Utah at the time. It wasn't until we started it. I Brexen... think our crew was the first crew. Oh, our crew was totally the first. <laughs> Brexen, easily my biggest parenting fail. <laughs> <laughs> and then Hazel. Hazel. I had to change it up and do H-A-Z-Y-L because I had to be different. The next most asked question by like a mile. So many questions about this and they've been going on for a long time because it's somebody you don't see all the time, but she's in our profile picture. You know she's part of our family. But what is the story with Maddie? What is the deal with Maddie? I will answer a little bit of that. I was married before, married for about a year. Maddie is a daughter from that marriage, but Maddie went and lived with her mom in San Diego. She has a great mom. They've had a great relationship and a great time there. We don't get to see her nearly as often as we would like, but we do get to see her pretty regularly. It's consistent at least, so we love that. Gosh, you know, there's some other interesting things about Maddie, but let's just let her tell you herself. Hey guys, it's me, Maddie, and I just wanted to introduce myself to the new faces on this channel. I am in high school. I'm 14, so I'm going to be a sophomore, and I live in San Diego with my mom. I love listening to music, especially Shawn Mendes. I'm obsessed with Shawn Mendes. Like, on an unhealthy level. I also love hanging out with my friends. I will be in Utah in a couple weeks and I'm so excited to spend time with my family. I am so stoked. <laughs> Thank you, bye. Here's one about Maddie's mom from Tina Tom Tomyer. Thomier, Thomier. She comments a lot, and I love you, Tina, but we're not sure how to say your last name. <laughs> Do Mindy and her mom have a good relationship? We have an amazing relationship. Most of the communication goes between Maddie's mom and myself. Her and I are the one that coordinate like everything. BFFs. It's we a actually bit weird. we have talked about <laughs> who she dates and what's going on. We text a lot, and so we're able to have a great relationship that way. Like it's like storybook. Wouldn't believe it's true if you didn't experience and live it. It is absolutely like the dream scenario. They get along yeah. great, can talk about anything, go to each other for advice. So really, as good of a situation as you could ever hope for which is awesome. We love Maddie's mom, and I'm pretty sure they love Mindy as well. Emma Shrek, Shriek, Shriek? Shriek? Emma Shriek says, how did you and Mindy meet? So that's actually a pretty cool story. We met at the University of Utah, which if you are familiar with Utah, it's one of the main schools here, and we met in that's a college... Cool. Yeah, go Utes. We met in a college course there. The longer story that's kind of funny is that I was returning to college after a little bit of time away and she was just entering Starting. college. So it was like this new to college class, like college essentials that I had no business being in for how old I was, but it made sense for her because she was just going into college. But I'm grateful for the class because that's where we yeah. met. Here's a good one. Kath. Hebs, Kath Hebs, uh, asked, how do you survive on so little sleep? I don't know if I'm surviving. I don't sleep much. I really don't. No, he never sleeps, you guys, ever. <laughs> All he about is... the vlog. <laughs> oh, he's burning at both ends most days, but 
He does it with such grace and he has so much energy, so I'm not really sure how he does it. It's gonna run out someday, I know it is. CG, that's literally just the name CG, says, my questions are, how do you stay so positive and full of energy all the time? That's actually kind of related to the lack of sleep. But how do, like, how do we stay positive? I just think that I feel like there's you have the choice in any situation to approach it with a positive mentality and to find the goodness and the happiness in that situation or to seek out the negative in that situation. And I've just chosen to find the positive. Honestly, like two people could approach the same situation and look at it and one person goes, man, this is awesome. And the other person goes, man, this sucks. And I just want to be the person that always looks at it and says, man, this is awesome. That's, that's my approach to positivity. This is why we're married is because he balances me out. <laughs> Okay, here's a great one from Wade's World. I'm gonna let Minnie answer this one for sure. Wade's World says, your house is always so clean. How do you do it? Are you constantly picking up because of the vlog? Uh, really, it's not for the vlog, but how, how come no. it's always so clean? No, because we record like our raw life. What you see is what you get. The reason my house is typically clean, the main floor, I should say. The main floor is typically clean, usually because I have clients coming in and out of the house and I like it to look nice and picked up for them. They're coming into my home, receiving a service, and honestly, having That's a true. clean home makes me feel good it makes me happy, keeps me mentally healthy. I just found a couple of questions. People have been asking what the kid's favorite superhero is and what they would want to be when they grow up. But let's check back in with the kids for the answer to that. All right, guys, favorite superhero, Ryler, go! Superman! Superman! <laughs> Batman! Oh, we got two Supermans and a Batman. If you had a superpower, what would it be? Crew. My superpower would be flying. Whoa, 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 Brexy. Uh, flying. What? It's Brad Guy. Mine would be flying. Oh, everybody wants to fly. What do you guys want to be when you grow up? Have you thought about that? What do you want to be when you grow up? Kruby. A policeman. Whoa. Superman. <laughs> <laughs> a phone builder. I thought this was interesting. There's a lot of questions about what you do and what I do for a job. Those of you who have been around for a while, you probably know what Mindy does for a job. You just actually mentioned it, why the house is clean. I do nails. I went to nail school and I do people's manicures. I make their nails look pretty. Beautification of the nation. She specializes in making people pretty. Uh, so what do I do? I actually got a new job in February. February of this year. February, I started a local company here called Vivint Solar. Uh, they're a huge company here in Utah. I focus on the recruiting efforts for their sales marketing teams. We recruit sales guys to go and sell solar products. I'm just in charge of kind of making that seem awesome and hyping it up for people. We use the word hype a lot. It's a hype job. This is a pretty good question, but do you want to try and say the name? <laughs> Emily, we know that much. Van Shake? Van Van Scheik, Van Scheik. What made you start vlogging? I feel like that's a really long, like I feel like that's a long question, yeah. like a long answer to that. But the short of it is, is we just started out making videos for our family to see the fun stuff that we did. So we would go like to a water park, we'd go sledding and we'd want to like, like capture that and then share it with the family. And then those videos gained some traction and attention and through a series of videos that got picked up, our relationship with GoPro, other things like that brought some attention to the channel and people kind of asked for vlogs. You guys would be great for a vlogging family, you should try it out. And that's back when we had like 450 subscribers and we just thought well that's a lot of work and I don't know how many people really want to see that and so it slowly built you should go back and watch our first vlog attempt it's terrible I mean it's terrible it's only him I just recently started coming into this it used to be primarily him it was just me and nobody really liked that and then once you got involved <laughs> We took off, so we kind of know who the real star is of this whole thing. I've got a lot of questions in here as I kind of scroll through. Are you ever going to come to X location? Texas, Florida, the UK, Australia. I love to travel, and I would love to visit every place mentioned here. I absolutely love that travel. Is so fun. We traveled a ton growing up, and I hope that we can visit every single place mentioned here. Gaming with Cole Five asks, who is your favorite YouTuber? Do you have a favorite YouTuber? I do. Have you heard of This Is How We Bingham? I, this is how we bingham. <laughs> I probably have two. Have you guys ever heard of a, the Gardner Quad Squad? Oh, yes you have. I love them. Uh, Casey Neistat, he's super awesome to watch. Casey Neistat, wow, good for him. So I actually, I, I love Casey Neistat. I recently, and I don't even know if I should say this, I think it might be too old to be a fan oh, of this either. guy, but I recently really been enjoying Logan Paul's vlogs. I know he's like the fastest growing channel on YouTube, but his energy, like it's just like this relentless blunt force attack on my senses for 15 minutes straight, and uh, it gets me hyped. So I really am digging Logan Paul right now. Janet Sparrow asked a pretty good question. Have you ever gotten in trouble for flying the drone in off-limits airspace. So I try not to ever fly in off-limits airspace. One is dangerous, two, there's too many liability and legal issues, uh, and three, the new smarter drones, they don't even allow you to take off in those places unless you override the system and then you gotta enter your email or phone number. Scary. So you just don't. I just, I just don't fly in off-limits areas. I don't knowingly fly anywhere I'm not allowed to fly. No. Okay, this name I'm definitely not gonna get right. I'm sorry. Sakrut Kulkarni. Kul Kulkarni. I'm saying it like in a weird sorry. accent. I'm sorry. Play Assassin's Creed or watch the movie wearing a hoodie. It's funny you touched on that one because I would definitely rather play it. I'm a total ex gaming nerd. I gamed out of control to the point where it was a detriment to our marriage. She actually was, no, she was cool with it. 
But let's just say that like, she would go to bed, I'd be playing, she would wake up, and I'd be like, oh, Still playing. <laughs> the sun's up, whoops. And honestly, yeah. Assassin's Creed is one of my games. I had to play it to completion. I'm talking like Assassin's Creed 1, collecting every flag, like ridiculous completionist, and I love it. If you thought he wasn't getting sleep now, it was worse when I game. It was way worse. I kind of like changed obsessions. I'm now into this. This is a healthier one. This is better. All right, this one's coming from Sarah Writing. What has been the most hardest, most challenging part of your vlogging experience? That's a good question. It takes I think it's me probably like, different for both of us. It's probably way different. I don't do any of the editing, but I would say my most challenging part is taking along the GoPro for everything I'm doing. It literally requires a third hand. I have to hold Hazel. I've got the diaper bag. I'm walking into Costco trying to grab a case of cereal, and I'm holding the GoPro, and she's crying. And She's good at it, though. She's good I at try, it. and I try to think of different ways to put the GoPro so I can get a good view. What about like talking in public? Like when there's a bunch of people around. Is that oh my hard gosh. or have you gotten used to that? Sometimes I feel so silly. I was walking in the grocery store. I just really vlogged about it. I think yesterday or the day before. I was picking out my groceries and I was like, okay, I need 15 ounces of tomato sauce. Oh yeah. And this was lady was like, <laughs> Are you why is yourself? she videoing herself? <laughs> I don't know. Why not? So I think for me, it's probably different. I love videoing stuff. It's been a passion. That's how come I've been able to stick with it even when it gets hard. It's probably the lack of sleep, like just editing every night until two or three o'clock in the morning. And then just the grind of needing to come up with something every single day. So like just that daily grind of not missing a day. But if you love it, you're able to pull it off and do it. And I think that's what separates the people who give up and stop doing it from the people who actually end up being successful with it. We're passionate about it. We love it. And so we don't really feel yeah. like we want to stop anytime soon. Oh, this is a good question. Elizabeth's SBR. Sparty, Sparty. I asked, can you do a house tour? So we actually have done a house tour before we moved in, and I'll link that video for you guys. It was empty. The it was empty. was empty. It was painted differently. We did walk around and show every room and did a house tour, so I will link that for you guys. As we paint we'll rooms, a new one. yeah, and we decorate, we get more stuff up, we should totally do another one. So we will yeah. do another house tour. All right, this question uh, is from Gayar, Gayathri. Sundar, who actually has a challenge that says, is it possible for you to talk without can't. shaking your hand? <laughs> no, it's not possible. It. <laughs> it's really not. I can't do it. Hannah Holmberg asks, what keeps your family so close together and so connected to one another? That's a fantastic question. We try and spend a lot of quality time together as a family. Yeah. Growing up, my family went on a lot of family vacations where we went out of town together and we created bonds and memories in those vacations. So we've tried to do that a little bit. We just try and make sure we have priority time with each other. Every night, every day, a family for mentality. Really nothing comes above our family and our family time. I agree. I don't even know. Like that's such a good question. It's something that we want so bad and we strive for every day. But to say like it's because of this and you put a pin I in it, know. that's hard to do. I think part of it's we have our we've had our kids close together. We've had them some less than two years, some just over two years. Yeah that definitely helps. And I think they're just so close together in age that they are just like instant best friends. And that's how it was growing up for me. Like me and my brothers we were all close in age and so we were also very close. My sister actually is 12 years younger than me on the other end of the family but we're like probably the best friends we work together you guys know that but yeah it's just something that we want and we strive for so I'm glad to hear that you guys are sensing that and picking up that that's actually happening this yeah. next one is from Crystal Gibbs I noticed crew is a bit of a daredevil have you thought about putting him in an extreme sport like BMX racing yes so crew <laughs> loves any sport what crew has been waiting to do and acting like Brandon parkour he's been waiting to get signed up for parkour they won't let him do that until he turns seven which just so you all know it's in a month from today a month from today we're gonna sign him up for parkour I know that's something he's been interested in he wants to do it so bad he just so wants bad. to do sick flips and tricks and jumps and oh look at this one from Kan Kanaya Kanaya Robinson how many GoPros do you have and which one is your favorite so I have two you have two Ryler has one Ryler has one I have one two three four and Maddie has one and Maddie has one, so that's eight. So there's currently eight in our family. We've had more than that over time. We've we've given them to friends, we've hooked up neighbors, but I think eight is the current number in our family. And definitely, without a doubt, the Hero 5 Black that we're shooting on now. Favorite. Absolute favorite. Waterproof without a housing, perfect for our family. It's rugged, the kids can grab it. You've seen Hazy just grab it and walk off and start vlogging, and if she drops it, we're not that worried. If it gets dumped into a pool, we're not worried. It's the perfect fit for our family because we really need something like rugged and something that is pretty indestructible. So we love the Hero 5 Black yes. and GoPros in general. As I scroll through the questions here, there's a couple of people that are asking about my trip to Australia. I know that we do have a, a, a pretty good audience in Australia, which is yeah, awesome. Big. So the quick recap of that, I went to Australia for my 16th birthday. It wasn't actually for my birthday, but it happened to be over my 16th birthday, and I went with my dad. He was there on a business trip. He brought me with him. I had just got my American driver's license, so he let me drive there with a stick shift on the opposite side of the road with the opposite hand. I 
stunk, but I love that trip. Great memory. We went to Sydney. That's pretty much where we stayed was in Sydney. I went to a rugby match, had some oysters. <laughs> yeah, it was great. I And that is one place of all the places that I would love to go back to. The sun's going down here. It's getting kind of dark, so we're going to kind of just bust out a few more questions here, and I think we'll be good for this one. Misty Wink, who is a frequent commenter and has been with us for a very long time, says, I want to know how you met Mindy, your first date, and all about your proposal. I think that's too much for this. That is too much, but you know what? As I've been reading some of these comments, I thought this is such a perfect blog post idea. So oh, Missy, I'm going to cover this in its entirety, and it's kind of an incredible story. It's a good one. I have the best proposal story out of anybody I've ever met. It's pretty good. I'm not even kidding, and I've heard that from several people. And I'm not like bragging on myself, it's just that like, the whole idea of it worked out so perfectly and my whole family got involved and it's one that you're going to want to read about. We may do a full video on that, definitely a full blog we post. We should reenact it. <laughs> oh, that would be great. Let's see, Savage Ty asks, what's your favorite sport? Definitely football. Growing up it was basketball for sure, but it's definitely football. Amy Campbell, uh, Mindy, what did you use to clean the seats? I actually was going to ask you the same question. When you showed the before and it was filthy and then you cleaned them, I was like, what did you use? I didn't even use a product that is for upholstery. I used like a degreaser that you would use in the kitchen. Some random degreasing foaming spray that I tried out and it worked out. That's awesome. not for upholstery, but it happens to work awesome on upholstery. It what would, up, dudes? Yeah, if you had an upholstery cleaner, it would work a thousand times better. Rachel Martinez says, where does the thank you, we love you come from? That's a great question. Bingham. That's the extended Bingham family. My parents would always end nights when we would get together. As you guys have seen, if you've been with us a while, we get together at my parents' house a lot. We get the whole family together. We do big dinners, big parties, big celebrations. And at the end of the night when we would leave, my parents would count one, two, three, three and then do thank you we, we love, love you, you. And then it became a race who could say it first and so as we were leaving we'd look around and be like ready ready one two three and then we would hurry and say it before my parents could and they go oh and they would try and say it first so it just became like this family thing this thank you we love you that we would always say when we were parting company to go home after being together for a while well the best part is now like even little hazy when brex was a little baby that's something that he would do he'd be like thank you i love you our kids have grown up with it they totally know if you watch in the videos when we say it hazy's always doing the love you at the end at every the time end. Yeah. So that's pretty much it unless you want to tackle this question. Well, yeah, I think so. <laughs> so there's, there are a number of people who want to know, are you guys going to have any more kids? <laughs> uh, no. Okay, but seriously, you answer that. <laughs> yeah, we've decided we want to have five more. What? That's not the decision. You heard it here first. Bingham family is doubling in size. You know, the second I had Hazel, the second she was placed on my chest, the thought came as quick as it left that our family was complete. I don't really know where did. the thought came from. It hit me like a ton of bricks, and I kind of just felt like our family's complete. Now, that's not to say in a few years, if we feel like we should have another baby, that we won't. I would I mean, say it's not sealed off. It's no, not like a hard no. I love our family dynamics. It's I love perfect. everything about it. So as of right now, no, we don't have any future immediate plans of having any more kids. Plus, at the moment, we have 59,274 family members around the world. So our family's getting yes. pretty big and growing by the yes. day. You guys, this has been so much fun. Thank oh my you. gosh, our first Q&A. A couple of people asked, would you do a live Q&A on Facebook? Yes, Absolutely. we are definitely doing that. That's the next round of Q&A. We thought this would be a good way to cater to our YouTube audience, which is where really most of you are. Hopefully you got your questions answered. We didn't get to all of them. Obviously, there were 600 something questions. We tried to bucket them and get to as many as we could. We'll answer more as we're able to. We love you guys. We love you being in our family. Thank you so much for Thank being a part you. of our lives. And for the next Q&A that we do on Facebook, if you don't follow us there on Facebook, that's where we will be doing the next live Q&A. Yeah. Follow us. This is how we bang them. In the description, you can check out the link. This is how we bang them on Facebook. One, two, two. three. This is how we bang Thank you. We love you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. We love you. <laughs> Jazz hands. Like. But because I like to do things weird,